Hi, everyone. So now that we have finished up week two and we have dealt with first what makes an acceptable essay in general and then looking more specifically into what makes a successful narrative essay. Now we're ready for week three. And one thing I want to remind you all to do is to be sure when you're looking through your folders and you, of course, should definitely be looking through your folders. That's where all the material is telling you what essays you're right when what essays you're working on, you should be working on, what things are due, all that sort of thing. You need to be sure that you are really looking at those folders thoroughly. You've got PowerPoints there. And particularly for this week, I want to call your attention to the lecture notes. Let me show you real quick what those lecture notes look like. Oh dear, sorry about that. Okay, let me do that again. All right. Now. And here we have it. The lecture notes for this week are a rubric for your first assignment. They are the rubric for your narrative essay. Narrative essays, of course, have their own rubric and you'll see a different rubric for future essays. But the one thing all of your major essays are going to have in common are the major areas in which they will be evaluated. Content, style, organization, and grammar. So what does all that mean? What are we looking for when it comes to content, organization, style, and grammar? That's what the rubrics are for. They're to help you see what an ASA would look like, what characteristics would an ASA have, and a BSA, and so forth and so on. So please be sure as you are working on your fourth essay, which is going to be due the Sunday of week four, that you're thinking about that rubric. Also, readings. The readings this week in your St. Martin's Guide to Writing. Now, your readings last week were interesting, and I really appreciate the number of you who talked specifically about those essays in your discussion forum. That was a part of your assignment. You were supposed to address the specifics in the essays that you were to have read for last week. Some of you did that. Some of you didn't. So if you didn't because you haven't received your textbook in the mail yet, please be sure that you catch up when it finally does come in. But your readings for this week aren't quite as well. For this week, you're going to be getting into the boring parts of the chapter, which would include suggestions for how to come up with a topic and suggestions for how to get started, what to do at your first stage that you have, you know, your brainstorming stage and then your drafting stage and then finally your revising stage. And the St. Martin's Guide does go into quite a bit of detail about each of those stages. You're going to want to skim this part because, well, it is a lot more boring than the actual essays. But just because it's boring doesn't mean it's not useful. You need to read this. You need to read it, make notes over it, and think about it because it will help strengthen your essay writing and it will also give you a good idea of how to get started and what procedure to follow. It does help to have a map it's a lot easier to go from zero, not having anything, 
to completed essay if you have a plan to follow. So please do not neglect this week's reading, even if it's not as exciting or fun or just funny, entertaining as your readings from last week, because this is extremely valuable stuff if you know how to use it and read it right. So this week, you're going to be getting started on your narrative essay. And next week, although on Sunday you will be turning in your narrative essay, we're going to start talking. We're going to start looking into your next major essay. So be ready for that. Be ready to read a different set of essays and talk about that different set of essays in your discussion board for week four. So please remember to complete your discussion board assignments. And also remember that you can email me, you can text me, you can ask me any questions you need to ask at any time. Thank you.